When you think about how to build your management system, the, the air traffic control approach for running your organization, one of the things you have to be aware of is that <clears throat> different people in your organization function in different ways. I guarantee you how you manage the sales force is different than the way you manage the research function. And so you have to be aware of what works and have a, a, the least amount of control you can have and still keep everybody on the same page. <clears throat> we found that there's three models, uh, three analogies to management systems that work pretty well. My wife and I love uh, English gardens and um, the, the look of an English garden is sort of uh, natural. They, there's not a lot of uh, uh, structure to them. Things just kind of bloom and grow where they're planted. And there's an incredible beauty to that. And there's some kind of people need to be managed that way. If you've got somebody who you want to be thinking outside the box and research oriented, you don't want too many constraints and controls on what they're doing. And so there's the natural garden model. The second model is what I call uh, the orchestra model. And it's uh, in a way the polar opposite of the natural garden. In the orchestra model, you have a group of people that give up all individual freedom. You have a, a, somebody who has spent their lifetime learning to play a specific interest, instrument. They sat in a specific chair and they play a precise note at exactly the right time. It's the opposite of individual freedom. The natural garden, you bloom where you planted and you value the freedom. In the orchestra example, you value the precision and you value what only the group as a whole can produce. And you cannot have both. You cannot have this complete do your own thing thing and have the beauty of an orchestral performance. And so there's this um, real trade-off. You know, we inside chafe a little bit sometimes at being told what to do and where to fit and how, but you cannot have the benefits of an orchestral performance without agreeing on these, these rules. And I, I love the image of a symphony. I mean, you think about all the things it takes. There's somebody wrote this score of music that's a, a masterpiece. Then you've got somebody directing this. You've got all the skills to create the soundstage, the, the auditorium. You've got all these different instruments. It's the culmination of human endeavor for centuries that comes together in this one event. And so you've got parts of your organization that have to function that way. You've got, uh, you know, healthcare, you've got to do things precisely right every time. Now, there's a third model, which I think is probably the most common, and I, it's maybe the US football or a sports model, where um, there's a team huddle. And if you think about managing a professional sports team, you, you, you do have a long-term strategy. You've got a player strategy that's a multi-year strategy. You pay big bucks to get a certain player with a certain skill set. So there's a multi-season strategy, there's a season strategy, and then there's a game strategy, and then there's a play strategy. And so you have a game plan, but after each play, there's a huddle and a chance to adjust. And in, in the huddle model, everybody agrees and say, this is the play we're running and everybody has to know that play. But as soon as the play is called, the skill of the player comes into place where the play doesn't unfold the way you expected and they have to adapt. And an awful lot of our work is like that. You, you have some quarterly set of objectives you're working on, you have some weekly set of objectives, and you have how you think the day's gonna go, but yet you still need skilled people who know how to adapt in the moment to what's going on. And with these three models, they're kind of extremes. There's on one extreme, the natural garden, open, lots of freedom, total control, the orchestra, and in the middle, the agile model, which is uh, more of the huddle.